Hey what's up guys, you're watching a Brett's Adventures video. Today I'm going to be giving a basic review on how to use TechSmith Camtasia 9. So what I'm going to go over is cutting and splitting your videos, you know, cropping or whatever you want to call it, annotations and overlapping your video. So let's get started. So when you th first start off you're gonna get this screen with no media and you're gonna go ahead and go over to your media bin right here hit your import media and get your media so this I already have mine picked out and I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down to this section down here and I'm going to go ahead to cut and crop I'm going to go where the excitement starts which is about around 48 seconds here so there we go, we got 48 seconds, and I'm going to make sure this is selected. It's going to have the yellow line around it, and I'm going to hit S, or you can hit this button over here, but I'm going to hit S on my keyboard as a quick key. There we go, we just split it, I'm going to select this, I'm going to delete it, and then I'm going to select this and drag it over to the beginning. Now I want to go all the way to the end of my video, about to here and I'm gonna hit S and I wanna get going again and so I'm gonna S hit delete select and drag over to the video so that is actually how you crop and cut your video and split and different stuff and now we are going to go on to annotations so I'm gonna start about right here and I'm gonna take an annotation right here and there's different types of annotations but I wanna just you have to you have to just experiment with all this but I wanna just plain annotation and I'm gonna drag it and then I'm gonna space it where I want it which is down in this corner I'm going to double click and type in what I want now this it's hard to tell but every single annotation casts a shadow and if you go over to this visual properties you can see the shadow options and I'm going to hit, go ahead and just hit this X and that takes away the shadow completely I'm going to go to text properties and go on so here you can adjust your color I want it to have I want to have black and you have your eyedropper here and you can just adjust the size here that's about good and then over here you have your behaviors right below transitions and the behaviors are different stuff that you can have at put onto your annotation and I actually really like this jump and fall and you'll just have to mess around with it and then here's just your different properties for your behavior and you can you, it's just all kinds of settings the speed the offset just just different stuff you have to experiment with it all but I'm going to go ahead and have it bounce really high and then I'm gonna just just like that so let's go ahead and see how that is. So that wasn't very long and so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the the time that it is up there and that jump was actually a lot higher than I was expecting. So let's go ahead and try this. I like it. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to go to and overlap my YouTube, my profile, just emblem or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. So here I'm going to just drag it either to your actual media or down to your media, down to your track area. But I'm going to go ahead and just drag it to my actual, the p actual picture and I want to put it down in this corner down to about there now here there's a whole bunch of settings even more and you have your opacity let's go about to there and just a different stuff and you can have your transitions and I'm going to go ahead and fade to fade to that 
So let's see how that looks. I like it. So that's actually how you overlap and in recap we went over how to do how to cut and split, how to make annotation and annotation behaviors and last of all we did overlapping. This has been a Brett's Adventures video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and comment. I'll see you guys next time.